President Bola Tinubu approved the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to use the 2023 final dividend owed to the Federation to cover the cost of petrol subsidies. In addition, the President has approved a halt on the payment of the 2024 interim dividends to the Federation to help boost NMPCL's cash flow. Now, also, we had reports that NMPCL informed the president that due to the subsidy payment, it is currently unable to pay taxes and royalties into the Federation account, referring to this as a subsidy shortfall on Forex differential. Now, forecasts from NMPC obtained by, the, um, by newsmen indicated that the total petrol subsidy expenses from August 2023 to December 2024 will amount to six point, about 6.9 trillion naira, leaving the company unable to remit 3.9 trillion naira in taxes and royalties to the Federation account. The exact amount of dividends that could or that would be withheld or put on hold could not be verified as a time of writing this report. Dandy. The, the president asking NMBC to read. I'm trying to get a clear view of this story. NMBC dividend for petrol subsidy. Is it that they, there's no fuel subsidy or they want to pay fuel subsidy? I don't, I, don't, I don't understand what's well, going on. Would you like me country. to go over the story? No, no, no. I'm trying to say I don't understand what's going on. Are we going forward and backward? Is it we want to start paying for subsidy? And then I thought we've removed it. <laughs> oh, God, help us. <laughs> so, anyway, I have, the issue is that okay, probably it could also be an immediate intervention by the president. Maybe probably he's listening and he has been hearing people at the I remember he told us to take our minds of that, like from his statement, you no, know, during his broadcast when he said there's no going back on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no going back. But are we going back? That's why I started with what's happening. Are we going back to that era? Probably it could also be a good intervention, especially considering the price of fuel at this time and how it's rising and all that. And then NBC complaining that due to the fuel subsidy payment, they may not be able to remit taxes to yes. the federal government. So the whole thing in that sector, I think the whole thing is just bent on trying to revive um, the economy. That's why I feel the president is doing. If there's an immediate intervention to help um, stabilize the economy or try to bring back the economy to the uh, price, demand and supply to equilibrium, that's the work on development. But if it will end up trying to um, enrich some other pockets again. It could also be a political strategy to enrich some persons. It could also be a way to cushion the effects of what we are going through in the economy. It could also be... So this whole thing right. is not clear. So let's, Let, let's look at the NMPCL now. A, a okay. lot of people have been calling for the sack of the group MD, Mele Kari. And I really haven't had this conversation with you ever on the show. Yeah. So what is your thought on that? If... Yes, if, if the man if if the man is presenting himself as not doing well, he can go. It's only in Nigeria you wait for people to sack you before you know you're not doing well. If he feels he's not so doing you well, feel, he can not, not, not what he feels now, it's what you think. Oh. And references were made, especially even yesterday in the news, it was reported that an ex militant people, individuals, aside what we had with the National Assembly the other time, we've had individuals calling for the sack of Mele Kari, right? And then um, people are making reference to the, the postponement of the resumption of the refineries. You know, the Port Harcourt refinery, which you have, been, you have always made reference yeah. to. The last time he talked about it was um, just beginning of August. And today is the 20th of August. And we've had reports that people are calling for the sack of the Group MD. This is just one out of many other circumstances. Any, can you recall I told you that date wasn't going to be effective? In this study, I told you it was when they said the Portugal refiner is going to come up again. Is it here on your radio station? I said it was. said it here. Yeah, I said it wasn't even going to be. I said, no, it's going to be. You said, I why am I not having confidence? I, I said, have faith in your country. I said, there was no, we don't Especially talk. as people have said that, oh, this is a new administration. 
And since it's a new administration, and this time it's coming up to say this, let us hope that it will be better this time. You know, first, I'm an, an economist and then an analyst. I'm trying to tell you what will happen. I'm not even trying to tell you this is fate. This is not even a church thing. It's a country. <laughs> and it, yes, it's not a church thing. If you have not put things in place to make it work, it won't work. You know, there, there was a post that uh, the Potaka Trifina will be functional by August and all of that then. And then someone asked the question, is the refinery aware that they'll be functional? <laughs> you know, if, if they said August, they've been saying every month. They said, yes. Yeah, somebody said, is the refinery aware, aware. that it's going to be functioning? The refinery mm. wasn't even aware. Let me also go by what. How do you know the refinery wasn't it aware? Was, the refinery wasn't aware because the road leading to the refinery, you can't, you can't pass that road. So it doesn't even show like anything wants to start happening in this area. So the refinery wasn't aware <laughs> that they were ready to no, start operation in that not facts back that That's my own up. personal opinion. Not, that's no longer that's my opinion. opinion. Of course. That's, that's you stating... And you're stating what you think is the reality. That's no longer the road. The road leading to the say, refinery. They no, you saying that the refinery are not aware. The, the, the refinery <laughs> won't be aware. You know, if 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 you want to um, commission this whole building, everybody around this vicinity will know something wants to happen here, because there will be clean up. There will be decoration, and then you have, especially the kind of person, let's say the governor is coming here. You arrange it in such a way that it will defeat the governor's commissioning of this place. But you're talking about a refinery. You want to open it, and the, there's no road leading to the place. How do they even transport products from that place? There are many carry have been promising us. Apart from that, the price of fuel keep rising in the midst of no more fuel subsidy. And then the money that's coming out from it, you're not able to account for it and more of that. And, and then you're saying doing? and then you're saying if he feels he's not um, functioning in capacity. Is it about what he feels anymore? That's why Remember I when he was uh, when he was called in for an interrogation recently and he was so bold, you know, to tell the was it House of Reps now or Senate, was so bold to tell them that you know the the refinery that was where he made this statement about august yeah. and then the other refineries before december that was where he made the statement that the fresh the, the newest and the freshest statement you know before the end of august or towards the beginning of august if he doesn't if he doesn't want to resign and he feels he's doing a lot there, there could be other factors that are making him not even function properly. And he's not speaking For how out. many years? He's not speaking it's up. It's been a long time. So if Medicare refuses, if, he, if he's in advance... What can we it, really say that the NNPCL have done since he came into office? Ask him, he will tell you. That's a big question. No, ask him, he will tell you. The, pe the, the, the person who is keeping him there, the president who is keeping him there, does he not know? So why are they keeping? That's why I said there could be other factors. Other person is benefiting from there, hindering him from performing. And that's why nobody can sack him. So that's also why I came up with the fact that if you know he's not functioning well under your supervision, gently resign. If they can't sack you, you're so powerful. Resign. That's the problem we have in the country. You know you're not doing well. This sector is handed over to you. Nothing is working. The masses are suffering. Just because. Probably. Who is who is benefiting from that sector? They will always come and tell you, don't worry, nothing will happen. And nothing is happening. We're sacking him. How can somebody in a country, you come over and say, there was, in, 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 in another country, let me not mention it, just a mere protest. Somebody died. The, the person, they resigned. The prime minister even resigned recently. In Nigeria, who is resigning? They are even telling you hunger, low standard of living. Nobody is resigning. Not even think of, okay, look at, and a whole, Somebody who is in charge of NMPC cannot resign. Why do you think a president will resign? So you, it, it, it seems to tell you how far the corruption has eaten deep. The same corruption the vice president is saying they are winning. You're heading something. In fact, that's even the, the full core determinant of our national income. 
the petroleum sector. And that's why and we are joking with asking it. Asking big questions like why, why, why is nobody saying anything? That's the problem. That's why that's the problem. That's why I said, is it possible that there are people who are benefiting? Why the masses are suffering? And nobody can even tell him go down. If the president stands up and says you're sad, he's sad. As simple as A B C D. Then if he's also if he also feels with conscience that I'm suffering the people with all we are doing, I'm suffering the people. Let me resign. He's not resigning. The thing that he, if he thinks he's suffering the people, does he really have everything that is needed to put the f refineries in capacity? That's another thing we need to look at. Because when you mentioned, when you thread your analysis, you, you talked about the, the fact that he could be under some sort of influence. That, that also takes us back to that influence. That takes us back to, to show that um, there are lots of, in fact, they've made it publicly that money has been allocated to that angle. Why Timmy Prince was the Minister of Petroleum State? They allocated a lot of money to that sector. In fact, he made promise that it was going to work before he leaves. Unfortunately, someone who is even from this angle as a Minister of Petroleum could not deliver. Then, whatever it is, and Menekiari is there, I think we also have a Minister of Petroleum who is also from this angle. So why is he not also saying anything? Why is everybody quiet? It shows that there are lots of corruption going on in that angle. There are lots of persons benefiting from that sector. And then nobody wants to say anything. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the president is not even saying anything. So the president has to say, he has to even tell us, President, are you comfortable with what Mele Kiari is doing? If he's not, why are you still there? Okay, now we're talking about, we're giving hope. We are trying to build Nigerians' hope on Dangote Refinery. This same Dangote Refinery is facing war, facing internal crisis. War is not even Cold War any longer. From who is who? And then to an extent, it came up that it was linked to even NMBC. To an extent, and then the president had to give a directive. So it means there are a lot going on there that are not even coming up to the media. So why is Mene Kiari not resigning? Why is the price of petrol? Uh, uh, why are Nigerians, why are Nigerians not pushing enough for his resignation? Why will you push? When we push for 10 days, what happened? What are you pushing? So you think nothing has happened or nothing will happen? That's what I'm process. saying. What has happened? Part of the push was for him to resign. Has he resigned? Part of the push was for the president to sack him. Instead, instead, the price of PMS rose. It went even higher. And then people, the same persons who, are, who protested, who agitated, are even saying, what was the essence of the protest? Is this supposed to be so? It ought not to be. The president should be a listener. I've said it here. The president should create a channel in which the masses and the, 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 the those in government can communicate. Try to hear from the people. Try to listen to the people. Do you think the, people, the president really wants to hear from the people? Why will he, he talk, not hear? He talked about giving chance for dialogue, but we didn't get to hear any invitation for dialogue. He won't. Okay, why, why, why so? Is that a good thing? It's not. Let me tell you, the whole of this quagmire we're facing in this country, the whole of this we're facing in our economy and all that, we start going down after this year. Why do I say so? From next year and all that, will become political uh, era. And then because the people are angry, people are not, they will not start attending to it. That's also another temporary pro um, solution, which could also be the step taken by NMPC right now.